What's up, everybody? This is Eddie here, and hopefully you're having a great night. Tonight, I want to talk about cryptocurrency just a little bit. I don't know how long this video is going to last. It may last five minutes, 20 minutes. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. So, I was on cryptocurrency subreddit, and there's a very popular one that is on the top today and it's regarding well as you can see hopefully you can see hold on Yeah, so hopefully you can see it. It says, Today, 11 years ago, a Bitcoin developer decided to visit the CIA after that Satoshi Nakamoto was never seen again. And the poster by the name of Najee102 says that Gavin Andreessen posted that he's going to visit the CIA to give a presentation at an emergency, I'm sorry, at an emerging conference for the U.S. intelligence community. Remember that he was invited by the CIA for this conference. That means the CIA knew about Bitcoin. Then he provides a link here, link down here, which takes us over to bitcointalk.org. And down here, post from Gavin Andreessen, and it says, I want to get this out in the open because it is the kind of thing that will generate conspiracy theories, my thing. I'm going to give a presentation about Bitcoin at CIA headquarters in June at an emerging technologies conference for the U.S. intelligence community. I accepted the invitation to speak because the fact that I was invited means Bitcoin is already on their radar. And I think it might be a good chance to talk about why I think Bitcoin will make the world a better place. I think the goals of this project are to create a better currency, create a more competitive and efficient international payment system, and give people more direct control over their finances. And I don't think any of those goals are incompatible with the goals of government. I'm only very slightly worried that talking about Bitcoin at the CIA will increase the chances they'll try to do something we don't want them to do. I think accepting their invita invitation and being open about exactly what Bitcoin is will make it less likely they'll see it as a threat. P.S. Full disclosure, I'll be paid a one-time fee of $3,000 to cover expenses and pay me for my time. I don't want any Gavin is on the CIA payroll rumors to get started either as always comments and questions and discussions welcome i'd really rather not hear any conspiracy theories about how they'll secretly implant a mind controlled chip in my head while i'm there though <laughs> all right so that's the top post of today now if you have been following me or the cryptocurrency space <coughs> excuse me or the digital currency space then you would know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Satoshi Nakamoto is none other than Craig Wright. And it is obvious to anybody who wants to find out who he is that Craig Wright is more knowledgeable than anyone about Bitcoin. Now, his opponents will say that he talks techno babble and to some extent if you don't understand bitcoin it may seem like it's techno babble or um, we call that uh, jargon company jargon uh, in the corporate world but once you start learning about Bitcoin and read the white paper, not just read the white paper, understand the white paper, the sections, and understand the nodes, what a node is. A lot of times on these spaces here, 
they conflate nodes with miners with raspberry pies a node is not someone who just watches the blockchain and watches transactions a node is actually one computer that possibly connects to other computers to mine blocks build blocks validate blocks and get rewarded for validating those blocks that is what a node is okay I'm not gonna get into the specifics of a node and everything else I just wanted to talk about this one post here about Gavin Andreessen going to the CIA back in 2011 so Gavin Andreessen also said that Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto so he knows who Satoshi is Gavin Andreessen does and he stated that under oath but I just found it interesting that you know some of the older topics from the Bitcoin community Bitcoin talk dot org uh, is coming coming back up it's always interesting to look at like history like it's like everything about Bitcoin is documented like when it came out the forum this right here is from 2011 and if you scroll around you can see actual uh, Satoshi Nakamoto writing in, in Bitcoin talk dot org and it's very interesting to, to read what he said um, and maybe one day oh I think I did did a video about that before if if not I'll do another video or do one about you know going through Bitcoin talk dot org and Satoshi Nakamoto's previous uh, submissions and posts if that's something that you're that you'd like to see let me know in the comments and that's pretty much it for this video I told y'all I keep it simple short sweet please like or dislike and subscribe uh, thank you for watching I'm out Brrrr. Thank you for helping me get that ass.